What's up YouTube, you checking out the Frequent Flyer and this is my quick review of the Atop YD822S Skyfighter. This is the awesome looking quad here. You guys know I love red and black. Red is my favorite color and black is the nicest color that I think that goes with it. And uh, this thing just looks awesome. It's color scheme as well as it's a design it the motor pods actually remind me of the 200 qx with the sort of like boxy look to it if you guys can see that um the plastic on this quad it feels uh just like the plastic that's on the sky dreamer plus i doubt if this thing will break in a crash it seems very durable i'm really happy with the way that they made this i don't think it'll break uh even on a hard crash, I'm not trying to, I'm not saying crash your aircraft, but this thing just seems like it's indestructible. I have crashed it a few times. Uh, nothing major though, but just feeling this thing, it feels like the type of plastic that just isn't going to break really easy. Um, well, I had, this thing comes actually with a, a dual version, uh, a version that comes with two quads. And why? Because this thing... It's a sky fighter. Um, it actually laser tags in the air. There's a game that you can play with it. Um, if another person has uh, the same quad, you can actually fire la invisible lasers at it and uh, fight back and forth. As you can see on the box, it says top flyer series of flight. Four hits to win here. Damage simulation. First ever real life damage simulation. I don't know what that means. Built-in sound effects, team play, unlimited drones can battle at once. So you can have a whole team, a squadron. It's actually set up really nice. And I actually got the version that comes with this turret here. It's the um, single player, single player combat box. So I know you're wondering how the heck do you play single player? Well, that's where this thing comes in. It actually comes with a turret. And it actually talks <laughs> and it's really cool uh, this turret here um, let's talk about the turret for a while a little bit this turret uh, you can switch it on to automatic or manual mode so this little switch in the back here uh, you can go to either side manual mode actually allows a person to uh, stand there and press this top fire button here with the little bomb on there. <laughs> I think that's nice. Uh, so you press that button there to fire invisible rockets, I guess, at the person that's flying the quad. So you're aiming at the quad, you're pressing this button, and it's registering. I, I, I'm guessing this is a receiver here. Um, this little thing here. Or maybe this is the blaster. I think this is the receiver. And so if you hit anywhere uh, really close to the, uh, the, the quad, then it'll uh, register as a, a hit, and the quad actually does uh, two th different things, three different things. Um, if you're hit once, the quad will spin around. If you're hit again, the quad will flip, do, do a flip. So it does a flip when you hit it the second time. You hit it the third time, it sort of spins around a little longer than it did uh, the first time it spun around. And then if you hit it a fourth time, it actually spins around and goes to the ground. So, uh, and then you're considered uh, the loser. Um, once you get hit four times, you say, you see it says four hits to win. Uh, well, when you get hit four times, it goes down. Now, you can actually fight back uh, with this thing. You press the button on the uh, transmitter. This button here actually uh, makes the quad fire back. So you can fire shots back at this thing. When you turn this on, let me turn it on, manual mode. Uh, all five of these lights are lit. Um, when you start, when this thing is blasting, each time it blasts, um, you see this light right here flash red. I'm guessing this is the receiver here. This is the blaster. Same on here. This is the blaster. This is the receiver. Um, so once you register a hit on this, um, you can hear the sound effects and one of the lights goes off. You'll hear like an explosion or whatever. Actually, let's uh, demonstrate that. 
a little. Let me get a battery for this. I don't know if this battery is charged up. Let me see. Let me grab a battery. Got a battery in here. It actually comes with a, a 200 milliamp hour battery, I believe it was. Um, or maybe 250, but I removed it <laughs> as soon as I got it because I figured it wasn't charged up and I stuck one of my own batteries in there. And now I don't know which one it actually was that came with it. I, I would know it when I see it, though. It's a little shorter than the ones that I have. This is the uh, battery hatch here. It, it's sort of like the um, the battery hatch that's on the Sima X4. And so you see this huge light in the back uh, flashes. It actually flies with the SkyDreamer Plus's transmitter. Let me try to bind it. So now it's bound to the transmitter. And so with, when you press the button up here, the buttons are the same actually on this transmitter as well. So I'm going to press this button up here and it fires a shot. Let me see if I can get it started up, though. Let me bind it. Okay, let me see if I can fire a shot now. Okay, did you hear that? So one of the lights are going now because it a shot registered from this hitting that. Let me press it again. So it takes a couple hits uh, to actually get one of these to go off. Each time I press this, you can I can see this sort of flicker, and then it'll register probably after the third one. Let's see again. This one, two, another one's gone. So you actually have to hit this turret a lot of times. So it's a really really a battle <laughs> trying to get these lights off on the turret. And if you go fast on this, it actually registers. So you can sort of fire away while you're flying it. I uh, learned that when you when you put this thing down on the ground and you're flying, you have to, when you're flying full pitch forward, it tilts the craft like that. And that's where you want to be. You want it to be tilting forward. So this blaster here can actually register the shot there. And once you uh, hit it all, get all the five lights to go off, then it starts to flash like that and it's not working anymore. So you have to start it over. Now, this thing has an auto mode. Let me start it off on the auto mode. Okay, then you press this up here. It just starts spinning and firing. And so, when the quad... It's no way for me to demonstrate here. Uh, but when the quad gets hit, the quad spins around. And uh, you hear it, a, a sound of, of it registering the hit. It spins around, like I said, or flips and then goes down and all of that stuff. So pretty cool uh, fighting simulation with this thing. I, I'm i really anxious to find out how this thing works with two players. It seems like it'll be very awesome flying after one another, firing at each other. It's just an awesome concept. I saw something sort of like this on eBay before. And um, it just was too expensive. It was like 130 bucks uh, for it, and it was all the way, all the way in uh, North Korea. Um, so I just didn't bother with it. Um, but this thing, let's get to the flight characteristics. The flight characteristics of this thing is uh, very awesome. Uh, this thing flies really well. Um, the yaw rate is fast. I mean, it to me, it flies like the Sima X4 with a faster yaw rate and a deeper pitch. So, well, I got this thing upside down trying to put it on. <laughs> so, it, it's very quiet because of the three-bladed props. Um, the only negative that I can think of is that this doesn't have any LEDs on it. Well, I talked to RC Attic, and he has the one with the doubles, and it comes with... Uh, the double one comes with the white and blue version of this as well. I was supposed to be sent that, but uh, I ended up getting this one with the turret. But I'm, I guess I'm 
kind of happy it turned out this way so I can show you guys how, how the turret uh, single player uh, combat works and it's actually pretty cool. I really like the uh, turret and battling with it. Um, but he he said that the white RC Addict said that the white version does have um, a red LED in the body. Actually, both versions do, but I know you can't see it through the, shining through the body on the black one, so you can only see the blue light in the back. No night flying with this one. Maybe the white one you can night fly with it, but I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait till one, one of his videos surface with it. Um, but that's one of the negatives about the black one. No night flying, because the LED in the front is there. You can see it through the holes down here, but it's not coming through the bod body of it. So, but it flies really nice, deep pitch, fast y'all, can do very awesome funnels, fast flying because the pitch is really hard. And it, these three bladed props, um, the post on here, when you pull these props off, the post is kind of thick. So you can't really fit any of the other size uh, posts that we're used to on there. Like uh, the posts that fit on the six millimeter motors or the, the uh, eight, even the 8.5 millimeter motors don't fit on here. So... The only props that I were able to fit on here are the props from the Sima X4, actually. <laughs> they actually fit on here. So, um, very close in uh, build to the Sima X4. It sounds like the Sima X4. Very, very quiet. This thing is just awesome. I like the big blue light shining in the back when you're flying around. You see the big blue light. It would probably be better if it was a huge red light and had blue in the front. But hey, you can't have, get everything you want, but it's awesome. I really like the way this thing flies. It has little landing uh, feet to land on, but it's actually this hard plastic. Um, so it's not a soft landing, but there is something that lifts it up from the uh, the motor pods. Oh, and this thing is geared. The uh, design of the gears are exactly the same as the Sima X4. So the motors lay down in the arms here. You can sort of see them through here, through the holes, the vent holes. So the motors lay down through the arms and it's connected to the gears here, I'm guessing. Um, so pretty awesome. Uh, the quad, let's get to the uh, transmitter. The transmitter feels really nice as well. As you can see, the sticks are elevated a little. Um, so you can get a, a nice um, input registry on here. You can get really precise on it because it's kind of high up. I'm a thumb flyer, so this is great for me. Unfortunately, I didn't see a way that you can um, get these off or get anything else on it. It looks like they can be removed, but they seem to be glued on. I pulled on, tugged on it a little, and I didn't want to break it. It seemed hard to take off a little, so I left it. Uh, but they f feel really nice for a thumb flyer. They don't press in or anything. There's no trim buttons on it. Um, this button here is the flip button. I thought that that was pretty odd. But I guess you need, uh, I would rather have the firing button up here because that's um, a easy spot for the firing. And when you're uh, fighting, I would rather have the firing button here. So I'm not mad at that. The flip button is here. You have to come off the uh, input to uh, hit the flip. This is the on and off button. It says armed and safe though. <laughs> and this button, I have no idea what this button does. I don't think this is a real button because it doesn't do anything. When I press it, you don't even hear it click. When you press it so this button might be fake no trims however i haven't uh, found myself needing yaw trim or anything this thing is usually trimmed out it flies really stable and everything uh the transmitter feels really nice in the hand the range seems to be nice i've flown it up and down my little strip that i usually fly it on uh took it for a morning fix um i don't know if the morning fix will be out by the time this quick review is out um, because I just did the morning fix. I don't know if I'm going to put that out before this, but this is the speed button here. It has a V on it. I don't know why, but this is the speed button. It has three speeds. Um, the yaw on the lowest speed is the same. I think the yaw stays the same on all three rates. Um, so you can pretty much fly this thing around indoors on all three rates because the yaw is fast. Um, the mid rates are really nice. It pitches about that much. And the uh, highest rate, it pitches really deep. It actually dips down a lot when you're flying it. Um, so awesome little flyer this thing is. Uh, I don't want to drag this out to a full detail review. <laughs> so I'm just going to end it here. The ad top.
YD822S. Skyfighter. Thanks for watching.